Now, let's look at this question. Finding the center and radius of the circle with the given equation. And this given equation is x squared plus y squared minus 16x plus 6y minus 8 equals 0. The whole deal right here is about how to find out the complete square. Before we do that, let's review a little bit. Look at this question. x minus 3 squared, please remember, is not x squared minus 3 squared. x minus 3 with parentheses squared is x minus 3 times x minus 3. And if you FOIL it, that's x times x, x squared, and the outer product, x times negative 3x, so it's negative 3x. And the inner product is negative 3 times x, so it's negative 3x. And the last product is negative 3 times negative 3 gives you 9. You combine those two, negative 3, you have a negative 6. Look at the relationship between 6, negative, and positive 9. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. And you square negative 3, you have a positive 9. So basically 9 is you divided this number by 2, put here, and then square that. Okay, so this number negative 3 is the one you wanted right here. You may try this one yourself, see what's missing. And you may also try this place to see what's missing. Let me look at this one. What is missing here? Look, you are giving 64. Which number squared is 64? Everyone knows that's 8. And which number divided by 2 is 8? And that's 16. So then you figure out here is 16. Here is 8. And here is 64. And remember, the number here is the number you should per put right here. Okay. Look. The number here is the number you needed. Negative 3, negative 3. Okay. So here, this is the number you should put right here. So the missing one is 8. Okay. Remember, here is positive. Here is positive. Here is negative. Here is negative. Now, if you go back for this one, you will see that you want to combine x squared with negative 16x together. Okay? So, put it like this. You want to combine y squared with 6y together. And you move constant 8, negative, to the right. If you add 8 on both sides, you can cancel that. Okay? And then 8 plus 0 is 8. Okay. Now, see what kind of constant do you need. This const constant, negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8. And then you square that, negative 8, you get 64. So you need a constant 64 to make this one be a complete square. 
and again here this negative 8 goes to here okay that's a complete square and here the same thing 6 divided by 2 gives you 3 Squ 3 squared gives you 9 so you need a constant 9 and again 3 here would be the one you wanted you put right here since this is a equation if you add 64 and 9 on the left you have to add 64 and 9 on the right this 3 together gives you what? 81 okay so those three terms gives you that those three terms give you a complete square add all the constant together is 81 which is 9 squared so the radius would be 9 from here and then the center remember negative 8 you should put positive okay and uh, here 3 you should put negative that would be the center so the center is 8 negative 3 okay we all up to this far we are done and I'll see you next time